Bad news for FPV, GoPro rolled out an update yesterday to their mobile phone app, which removes ProTune settings. ProTune settings are essential to the FPV filming guys and freestyle pilots, as we often need to change frame rates, ISO, shutter speeds, or white balance, etc, etc. And this was not a mistake, this was an intentional update by GoPro. They actually released an official statement on their website about it. What they didn't mention is the reasoning behind all of this. And if it's not too late, please go to your settings on your mobile phone and disable auto update right now. Along with the statement they gave us three workarounds which are not really satisfying in my opinion though. Use camera presets. All ProTune settings are still available through the back displays and if you got a Hero 8 or Hero 9 you can save up to 10 preferred custom settings and switch those via the mobile phone app. Well thanks Nick but a lot of us have reviewed guys still have older cameras. Use GoPro Smart Remotes. If you got a Hero 8, 9 or Max you can get the remote and change profiles via that. If you got a Hero 7 Black or earlier camera, you can use the smart remote and change ProTune settings. Use GoPro Labs firmware. The third workaround would be to use GoPro Labs, an experimental software that allows you to change settings with QR codes. It's a pretty cool thing, but you gotta admit, it's kind of funny that GoPro is actually suggesting their customer base to flash an unofficial firmware. But the Labs software works great, and using it myself, it is currently limited to the Hero 8. So this is quite annoying if you own a 5, 6 or 7 and you want to change settings and you got to pull it out of the TPU mount and put it back in every time you want to change settings. And it's especially annoying if you're using a Hero 6 naked or a Session 5 because with the naked Hero 6 it's really no fun to reattach that little display and with the Session 5 you're kind of forced to buy the smart remote as there's no back display on it. Alright, what can we do? Well, call yourself lucky if you're an Android user then I would simply suggest to roll back the app and download the older version, the 3.7.1 has still the ProTune features. You unfortunately can't do this on iOS and there's pretty much only one option right now to get the $11 app GoPro BLE Remote. It's actually developed by a fellow FPV pilot called Jaramaya and stems from the Naked Whoop community and the need for a reliable and fast way to connect and control your GoPro without a display or Wi-Fi connection. Its features are great and it's available for Android too. I really don't know what to think of all this right now. As a customer, you would expect to get more features over time instead of having features removed. We can only assume at this point what made GoPro do this. Is it because there is something completely new in the works or do they want to sell more remotes and newer cameras or was it just a cleanup of the code of the mobile phone app? Well, it just hurts. Just like this continuation of the session back then. And I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.